This is lame. What are you talking about? We hadn't seen a duck in like two hours. You know what that means? They're due. Jeff, did you get one of them smart watches? Well, yes. 62 degrees today. You can get all that same information on your phone, Jeff. You can talk on this thing. You know, I'm just like, hey, what's up? Just pick up your phone and talk on the phone. It's way easier. So I got it right here on my wrist. Your phone's sitting right beside you. I don't want to look at my phone. I want to look at my watch. Look at this. Awesome. My watch tells me how many steps I take. I'm surprised there's not an alarm going off. <laughs> <laughs> Saying, not enough. Not enough. Not Shit. enough. I walked a lot of steps today, OK? And now I'm going to reward myself with eating cornbread. <laughs> Mom's cornbread. Ooh, I'll have some of that. Oh, it is the best in the world. Nope. So whose is better? Missy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say Missy? Yes. Have you lost your mind? Look, it's pretty much impossible to make better cornbread than my mom. But I'm here to tell you that the impossible has happened. Mom's was the best. And now Missy has ascended to the queen of cornbread. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening to you. Sorry, Mom. You're still the queen of meatloaf. Nobody's arguing that. Once you eat Missy's cornbread, there's no going back. <laughs> you can keep living in the Matrix as long as you want to, son. This is the best cornbread. Shh. Jessica's ain't bad. It's got flaxseed, something weird in it. Shh. It's pretty good. Flaxseed? Does it have cheese and bacon? No. Well, then it tastes like crap. You eat <laughs> like... What you it's a healthy Kill. choice. I mean, I don't want to eat If you're that. trying to be healthy, you don't eat cornbread. Are y'all going to hunt? No cheese, no bacon? No. Y'all are ridiculous. It's a little plain on the plain side. That makes me want to vomit just thinking about it. So, Mom, you want all this stuff to go? Yeah, I've got tons more, too. Oh, no doubt. That's Lord only knows. the tip of the iceberg. Lord knows you could get rid of some stuff. Oh, here we go. Oh, well, look we who the em. cat drug up. Why are we doing laundry on the counter? We're going through clothes. OK, is this yours? Yeah. Willie's liking hey, it. Keep that for loungewear. When are the pies going to be ready? Willie just ate about eight pounds of cornbread, so I don't know why he's hungry for pie. OK, he said a while ago that Missy's cornbread is better than yours. <laughs> That's funny. Look, I trust Jason's opinion on a few things, but food is not one of them. It's the greatest cornbread ever. Jason's so skinny, he doesn't know what good food is anymore. I mean, just look at this guy. He weighs like a buck fifty at most. You cook everything else better. Thank but you. But just this one issue. You got a few one issues. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what Missy's so-called famous ingredient is in her cornbread, but by looking at Jace, I can tell you with confidence that it doesn't have enough butter. Therefore, it's not good cornbread. Enough said. Jace, you've lost your mind. Let's put it to the test. I'll put Lisa's cornbread up against anybody's. Why don't y'all just bring them all together and have a cornbread contest? When we doing it, tomorrow? Let's do it. I better call Missy. Y'all should try Jessica's flaxseed cornbread. Yeah, Jessica's cornbread is terrible. It's, it's decent. Inside, man. It's taking forever. I ain't Probably no in the bathroom. Or asleep somewhere. Lazier than normal. Si, come on. Hey, what's taking you so long, dude? Look, at my age, you don't do nothing fast. Are you gonna have another heart attack? Well, I hope not. I I'm might have one. You're moving really slow. <laughs> you should take supplements. You talking about steroids? No. Do you know what's better than supplements? What? Deer antler makes you feel better. VJ Singh, golfer, used it, won on the PGA Tour at 52. Y'all making this up. No. No, I That's ain't a kidding. real thing. Yeah. A stupid deer antler? Yeah. People are always trying to scam me with these, uh, you know, mountains of youth, you know, miracle cures. You know I fell off a banana truck, but it wasn't last night. What? It's like all-natural HGH. That's what I What's wrote. What's HGH? 
human growth hormone. I oh, think it's just sure. GH, though, because deer yeah. wouldn't have H. Yeah, DGH. What are you talking about? But, hey, on the other hand, what's the worst thing can happen? I also hear it's good for your libido. Uh-oh. Look, that's that chef done sale and something. Them days are old. It's not like I got anything to lose. I've already lost it. Si, you gotta try something. I mean, you're you're doing nothing. I mean. Well, hey, look, I'll try the deer antlers. Will you? Yeah. That's awesome. You got nothing to lose. But right now, I'm pooped, so I'm gonna go take a nap. All right. I don't know if any of this mess gonna work. Trying to get more energy out of Si may be like trying to get grape juice out of a raisin, you know? Yeah. Si is a little raisiny. Yeah, he's like a big prune. Well, this should settle it once and for all. Yeah, we're going to settle it. I'm going to win. Three men enter, one man leaves. We're all leaving. We're not. I mean, I'm just saying. We should weed out who shouldn't be here for sure. Winner, winner, cornbread dinner. Let's do this. Look, in this family, we have a very simple way of solving disagreements. We compete over and over and over. All right, so here's the deal. So we got the cornbread in each cup. Names on the bottom. We're going to do the taste test. We're going to be blindfolded. Cornbread may seem like a silly thing to fight over. But you know what ain't silly? Honor, family, respect, warm butter, golden crust, cheese. God, I'm getting hungry. Did you hear my stomach growl? You ready to go dark? Wait a minute now. I'm not, I'm not sure I understand the rules. What we need is an impartial judge. That's what blindfolds are for. That's right. Because people don't trust people, so. Stupid, that's all stupid. Going dark, boys. For the record, this is stupid. Well, for the record, you're stupid. Agreed. Okay, All right, let's ready? go. Let's start this. All right, first piece in. Contestant number one. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Here's what I look for in good cornbread. I need fluffy corn mix, whatever's in there, with the saltiness of the bacon with just a hint, slight kiss of jalapeno that's super moist, but that also has a crunch on the outside. That was good. Mm, that's out. Number two. Hmm. Mm. Meaty. The key to cornbread is to have the crunch in the right places. Number three. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And finally, you have to have some heat. Oh, boy. Whoa! This one was very hot. Yeah, I like it. Mm. Wow. All right. Done. Ray? It wasn't even close. This is my winner right here. Clearly, this is the winner. This is the winner. OK. Missy. Loser. Lisa. All right, well, we've solved nothing here. I just thought y'all would be unbiased and, and pick the best one, but no. You look like a cornbread gang member. All right, I'm going to the bathroom. I recommend us getting way away from wherever he's headed. God, my stomach's killing me. Hey, y'all, just come on around here. I'll show you what I got. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mountain Man, you always have no shortage of stuff, do you? Hey, look, a yo-yo. A lot of junk. Oh, what we got, Mountain Man? I'll show you, Si. I'm gonna fix you right up. You gonna be Hercules before you know it. You know that phrase, purred as a rotten buck? You'll be just like that. You'll be do th doing things you never thought you could do. Well, hey, we're gonna find out. Look, they say deer antlers give you strength and endurance. There we got go. the gold mine, boy. That's it, I told you. Gold right there, Pa. I'm not as young as I used to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not a young whippersnapper anymore. All right, Mountain Dog, you got a saw around here? There you go. Right. Get after it, Hercules. All right, boy. Hey, look, if there's anything to this deer out and stuff, OK, hey, I'll be pumped up in no time. 
Ooh. His knee is directly under that saw blade. <laughs> I just hope it don't slip. Look, I'm not a doctor, but I'm pretty sure deer antlers are not going to help size condition. Oh, that thing ain't got no teeth on the mountain, man. All right. And by condition, I mean stubborn, old, and lazy. Meeting, meeting. Huddle. I think I got a plan. What we do is we get inside and think he's like the strongest man in the world because he's taking his deer antler. Strong like bull. Yes. But in this case, strong like deer. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> strong like deer. I don't know if chewing on deer antler is going to turn Cy into the Hulk. He'll be posing in front of a mirror for a toss, and no, he'll be walking around there and say, Chris ain't feel that. <laughs> <laughs> but I know it's going to be really fun for the rest of us. Hey, Cy, by the time you get done with this stuff, you'll just be able to pick that up and break it. Don't deer forget. antlers. Supercharge. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, I think I got all I need, boys. You gonna pay the man? Appreciate it, Mountain Man. That's it? There ain't no money in this hand. Wait a minute here. Hey, I got one more test of product, son. Huh? This has got a 30-day guaranteed. Or your money back. Or your money back. Well, I think you have to give the money before you can get it back. No. Hurry up. All right, these two boxes I've already replaced with newspaper, making these, like, the light ones. So make sure he's got to get these three, one of these three. This sounds like fun. I'm not really concerned about pulling this prank off on Cy. One time we had him convinced Middle Earth was a real place. He's been chewing on deer antler all day. Dude, he's going to think he's so strong. <laughs> <laughs> then he tried to book a flight there and figured out it didn't exist. So are these boxes weigh, like, 30 pounds? Now they weigh like Hurry five. Up. And now that we've tampered with the heavy boxes and made them each about 30 pounds lighter, he's going to think he turned into the Hulk as soon as he picks one up. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Hey, you guys are not going to believe this. What? OK, since I've been chewing on this stupid deer antler for the past 24 hours, I'm telling you, it's working. I woke up this morning, not a pain or an ache in my body. Well, that sure was fast. What was fast was what happened in the bathroom this morning. The only thing I can compare it to is like a, a log ride at the amusement park. Swoosh! Well, that's an unexpected benefit. Boys, I'm telling you, hey, I feel like I'm about 55 again. How's your libido? It's still like the Titanic at the bottom of the ocean. Hey, right. for too long, you might get a little wind in your sails. I doubt that. <laughs> Load it up. Si, dude, you're strong. You can pick yeah. these up now. Look. Hey, I know what these clowns have been up to. These idiots couldn't pull off a good prank if their lives depended on it. Hey, I like where you're headed. You got yeah. the strength there. Yeah. Hand that thing over here. Let me hold that for you. That's it. Oh. Whoa. Two. No problem. Hey, rule one, OK? Look, never plan the prank. We get inside and think he's like the strongest man in the world. When the person you're trying to prank is sitting 10 feet away from you. Put another one on there, Jethro. You want another one? I think I can handle it, son. I can't even carry two of them. Si, you're strong like bull. All right. Yeah, hey, I'll tell you guys. Go, Sai. Si. Hey. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to tell you <laughs> you're what. You're strong, buddy. Rule number two, never try to pull a prank on someone that has got a high or IQ or that is very smarter than you are. Hey, I have found the fountain of youth. We tried and telling I, you. Dear Alan, I did. Look, in rule number three, if you mess with the deer, you're going to get the antler. Let me grab another box. Hey, 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 no, 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 no. Get that, get that. Oh, 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 no. oh good lord. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, hold, on. hold on, let me move this. You want to call ambulance? Oh, no, hold up, hold up, boys. Pick me up. Pick you up? Yeah, you're going to pick me up. I can't, I'm I can't need move. Some help. Good enough. Yeah. Boy, you're not let heavier than you look. You know what? Here. Oh, oh. Ease straight back. Ah. You all right? No, I'm not all right. I think that I actually pulled or tweaked something, guys. Yeah, it looked like it. Hold on, you need some tea? That'll fix it. No, that ain't no fix I'll get you some ibuprofen, son. I'm going to go get you a bag hey, of ice, all make right? It, make it strong. Golly. <laughs> you talk about gullible. Thank y'all so much for helping me with this. Baby Gus is gonna love it. 
Of course. I love the you colors, don't you? I know. All of them. So cute. I know what good cornbread is. Can't handle the truth. What? Oh. Hey, boys. You're talking about wart. What are you talking about? What? Missy makes the greatest cornbread oh my oh, that has ever been made, no. and their mind won't even entertain the, the idea. The greatest cornbread Jace, ever it's over. made. Ever. Yeah. Ever. That means you have to have tasted have every cornbread that. that has ever been made Which for is you a to lie. say. Didn't y'all already have that cornbread tasting contest? It was inconclusive. We couldn't settle it. Wait, that's why I made the cornbread? Yeah. What? Don't get me wrong. I'm flattered that my husband loves my cornbread so much. So why do you boys have to make everything a competition? I don't understand. Because that's because. how you become the greatest. I mean, you can't really determine the greatest cornbread. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everyone yes, yes. likes different yeah. things. But to start a full-on family war, it's a little extreme. But too thick of cornbread is always dry. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So thinner, better. I disagree with the thin thing, but everybody makes their no. own the no, way but there they can like be it. the best. I think it's okay to say this is the best cornbread ever. In but your I, personal I in it. your opinion. It? No. Yes. No. no. I mean, I don't want cornbread to be the reason why we don't spend Christmas together this year. Look, you make your cornbread again. We'll get an unbiased judge to come in, and this will be simple. Then it'll be, we will know who's the best is. What That's if we, what we don't do. want to? I can see why you don't want to. Yeah, me too. This, oh, I mean, hey. yeah. Uh, see? <laughs> this is how you achieve greatness. But That's who cares about being the greatest? I'll make my cornbread. Can't win unless you're in the game. I guess I'm in then. Fine. Count me in. Ladies, you better bring it. We've got our bowls of cornbread, and we've got our impartial judge. Mm -hmm. OK, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I think we're all adults here. Welcome to the first annual cornbread cook-off that should settle everything so it'll actually be the last. Thank you, last, well. yes. After all the build-up and suspense, the time has finally come to find out who in the family makes the best cornbread. Raise your right hand. Do you promise to tell the truth? Mm -hmm. I promise to tell the truth to my best ability and use my taste buds accordingly to check his cornbread out and taste it right. I now pronounce you man and cornbread. <laughs> All right. You may eat the cornbread. Now, when you look at Mountain Man, you wouldn't think he has a very refined palate. And he actually doesn't. He was just the only guy we could find that had nothing to do. Mm. But no one I know has more experience eating free food than Mountain Man. And in this case, I think experience does matter. OK, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Take it easy. Don't rush him. Hey. Here's the moment right. of trace. Mm. That, that one got a hmm. Bowl number two. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm. Uh oh, that, that one kind of got a growl. Oh, that one got an eye raise. Yeah, that got a growl and an eyebrow. Last but not least, bowl number three. Mmm. Mmm. Bad day. Mmm. Mm. Hurry up. Let's go. Mmm. Yeah. And the winner is? Well, according to my taste buds, to the best of my taste bud knowledge, mmm. -hmm. I'm getting wrinkles. Yeah, you got to choose one. Mmm. -hmm. It's a tie between bowl oh, number one no, and bowl be a tie. number three. There's no ties. He's a judge. Pick one. He's the judge. He said there's he's a tie. He's not a judge. He's an air conditioner repair guy. This whole cornbread debacle got way out of hand. Picking favorites in any family is a recipe for disaster. Unbiased opinion. Mountain Man, do you like the cornbread? I like these two here. This and there, he can. They ain't no good. You use that on your trap. So rather than letting cornbread cause any more problems, the ladies and I decided to take matters into our own hands. We have a confession Please. to make. Mm. It's my cornbread. We all made my recipe. You don't have a recipe. Out of a box. Mm. <laughs> I saw it right off, boys. That ain't cornbread. He liked it. Ladies, when you're married to a man that won't let things go, Sometimes you just have to take it from him. 
we've got to do the whole thing again. No. They've, they've no. The point it. is, family is more important than cornbread. What? Cornbread brings families together, not tears them apart. Yeah, That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. How come he didn't like bowl number two? No, I have no, we have no answer for that. <laughs> it's the same. I don't know. Bowl number two just had a wang to oh, it. Oh, had a wang to it, boys. Tastes like crap out, man. It doesn't even taste oh, good. Oh, that's delicious. I use my best taste buds on this. Man. Thank you, Father, for bringing our family together on the earth. Thank you for your love, your kindness, and your patience. We need all those things. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 Competition is a powerful thing. On one hand, it inspires growth and creativity. But on the other hand, it can inspire people to do some really stupid things. Sometimes it's important to step back and remind yourself what it is you're fighting for and at what cost. I think it's safe to say that if you've dragged your entire family into a heated argument over cornbread, then you've probably gone too far. Hey, Si, any luck with the antlers on the old libido? Me and Christine were about to set sail last night, but hey, I had to drop anchor. I don't even want to know what that means.